The Venus 1500 Real-Time allows you to display data from external sources. This application is available only when a real-time key is installed in your computer. When the real-time screen is minimized, it will be stored in the system tray, not in the taskbar, and the real-time icon will flash when data is being received on any input. Before creating an RTD or real-time data message in the Message Studio, you need to set up some configurations in the real-time application. The first step is to configure an import to capture and display real-time data. An input source consists of a port and an ITF or an input template file. The input source port can either be UDP, serial, IPX, TCP, or HTTP. The ITF file is a filter to the data coming in on the input port. This file captures the desired data from the raw feed coming in from the input source. To configure an input, in the main real-time window highlight the input entry you will configure. Click on the Edit menu and select Inputs, and then New to open the Input Properties window. Next, click on the Configure button, which will open the Configure Input window. Here you will select the type of communication port that will be used based on the specifications of the input device. In our example, we'll use a serial COM port. Then, enter a name for the port and click on OK to open the serial COM port settings window. In this window, first select the COM port address from the down arrow list. Next, set the baud rate by clicking on the drop down arrow based on the input specifications. If you're not sure about the right parity and data bit settings, make sure you consult the source parameters in the corresponding manual. Then, click on OK to complete the action and return to the input properties window. Bear in mind that if messages are shared between computers, the Venus 1500 real-time port configuration must be the same on each computer. The next thing you need to do is to configure the ITF files. These are installed with the Venus 1500 software. They consist of multiple RTD or real-time data fields that select the start position and length of RTD fields in a data stream. An ITF file is not required in the port configuration. However, without it you must know the data contained in the RTD data to configure the RTD fields within a message correctly. Also, remember that you have to select ITF files before creating a message with an RTD field in the Message Studio. So to configure these files, in the Input Properties window click on the ITF button to open the Select an Input Template window. Click on the down arrow and select Browse and from the open window select the desired ITF file. By default, the Venus 1500 will install the ITF files in the C drive, program file, Dactronics, common, input templates. Once you selected the appropriate template, the contents of the ITF file will appear in the lower portion of the dialog box. In this example, we selected the ITF files for basketball. Then, Click on OK to return to the Input Properties window. If you need more information on advanced RTD configuration, refer to the PDF file in this section. Finally, you need to select the display where you will be sending the real-time data to. So in the Input Properties window, click on the Select Displays button under the Display Authorization heading to open the Display Authorization window. Click on the appropriate displays from the list and click on the Add button to add it to the list of authorized displays. To remove a display from the authorized list, simply click on the Remove button. Then, click on Close. And now you're ready to open the Message Studio and begin creating an RTD message.